So let's get started by installing the dependencies that we'll need inside of this project. The first dependency that we'll need is Node.js. And Node.js allows us to run the JavaScript CLI and Node.js is what Ghost CLI runs on. So what we need to do is go down to the version list. That's at nodejs.org. If we hit downloads and previous releases, we can scroll down to Node 6.50. You may be asking yourself why this specific version? Well, this is the latest version that we can use at this moment in time with the Ghost CLI. So let's hit downloads on that particular version. And inside of here, we can scroll down to the Windows, either x64 for 64 bit or x86 for 32 bit operating systems and download and install the .zip file. If you're on Mac OS, we're going to look at that in the next video. Once you've installed Node.js on Windows, you should then be able to say npm v and node-v to check to see whether this installed correctly. If it did, you should get the following numbers or numbers very, very similar, but you do have to have node at 650. If all this work correctly, then you can run npm install and this installs the following package, ghost-cli. Dash G. Now, if you've never seen any of these commands before, essentially what we're doing is we're installing the ghost command line interface globally here on our machine. What does this mean? Well, it means that we can use the ghost CLI anywhere in the terminal. We'll be using this to create a new ghost instance and we'll be using that to develop our theme against. So this gives us access to the ghost API as well as a variety of different posts tags and so on. So we have sample data there that we can use with our theme. When that has installed, you should see a message similar to the above showing the different dependencies. And if you're not running Mac OS, which I assume you're not because you're installing on Windows, just skip the next video.